Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. Tonight we're going to share a few quick tips on how to use a motion-centered LED light to keep yourself safe at night. If you're doing spe something special to keep yourself safe at night, please share it with us in the comments section below so we can share it with others. If you find this video helpful, share it with your Facebook friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright, let's get started. Getting up at night in the dark can cause a huge fall risk. That's why I always suggest to my patients that we have something that lights the way. Now a lot of them say they don't like to leave a light on because it keeps them up at night. So that's why I'm talking about motion sensor lights today. Now I like this one in particular because it's portable. You don't have to find a plug-in. You don't have to stick it up anywhere or mount it anywhere. So this is a portable LED motion sensor light. So we're going to give you a couple scenarios on how you might use this. One of the ways is if you put it underneath the bed so that when your feet come to the floor it will activate the light and it will shine on your path. The other way that I would suggest is using it on your nightstand. Now I have had several patients tell me that they've tried to, they've actually fallen off the bed while they've reached over to try to turn their light on on the nightstand. If you place this on the nightstand and just make sure that it's pointed in a direction that it's not going to go off every time you roll over, but it's close enough that you can wave your hand in front of it, kind of like we've done in this scenario here, that would be another idea for using this. Now you may need more than one of these. You need to make sure that your entire path is lit. When you get up at night, the darkness and the hurrying to the bathroom are, are two huge fall risks. So that's what we're promoting here is a safety tip, lighting up your path at night. Take a look at this below. We're going to add a link to this so that you can find out more details on this. That's it for today from Adaptive Equipment Corner. Have a great day and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.